Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Risen. So Risen brings another faith-based film to the big screen. But this one, I think, works better than most of the faith-based films that have been released over the past few years. This film has had to overcome miracles to actually make it to the big screen. It's been in production for years, and it even got delayed here in the final stretch from a late January release to a mid-February release date. Now, it finally was acquired and is being released by the same distributors who gave us War Room and Courageous, which were both very big hits for small budgeted films. And in the end, I'm left with a film that I have to give credit to, even if it's not a great film overall. Risen sets itself up for lofty ambitions right from the start as it describes itself as a biblical history epic. And unfortunately, it just doesn't have the budget or the means to really justify being called an epic of any sort. You can see what they were going for with the set designs and the feel of the movie. It just has that old biblical epic feel to it. You can see the vision very clear. Unfortunately, that ends up coming off as not only dated, but very cheap. You can see the budget all over this film. Every now and then they get big, sweeping, beautiful shots that you're like, wow. And then we go back into the cities where everything feels small and closed in. You can tell they're on a sound stage. You can tell that that's made out of styrofoam. And it's unfortunate because you can see the effort put into making this film. Joseph Fine is the star here, and I thought he did a very good job. In fact, everyone in the cast did a very good job. Everyone was trying, everyone was taking their roles seriously, and I truly appreciated that. I also appreciated that we had a non-white rendition of Jesus here. I don't think I've seen that in a mainstream motion picture, and really you don't see that in mainstream art forms of Jesus either. And it's just refreshing to see someone who looks like, hey, he would come from that Middle Eastern region playing Jesus. These faith-based films coming out of this particular studio are all pushing for progressive ideals when it comes to race. Because if you remember War Room that went back at number one, you know, last year was a completely black cast. And again, nothing about race was a part of them. It just was. And now here we have a Middle Eastern depiction of Jesus. But really, what I appreciated about this film is that it attempted to tell a story. It had action, it tried to move along, as if it were just a normal movie with religion being the overall message that you're supposed to take away when you leave. To believe in God, he will, Jesus will lead you, so on and so forth. That was just so refreshing to me because all of the faith-based films of the past few years have felt very preachy, just shoving it in your face. Films like God's Not Dead just felt overtly like propaganda. And here, we're given a film that shows the touches of religion, has an overlying message, but never gets too preachy, never tries to really shove it in your face. This won't convert anyone who isn't a Christian either though, because I feel like it doesn't really make a case for anything. It really is just telling a story. And overall, the pacing definitely needed work. I thought the action pieces were not directed so well. They, again, are a product of their budget and it's very shaky and all over the place. And then we would go from like moving quick to very slow to picking up pace again to very slow. So the pacing had quite a few issues. But again, it just kind of felt like a nice little slice of throwback cinema. You could tell what they were going for. You could feel the effort. And overall, it was a decently enjoyable film to me. Again, much better than any of the recent Christian movies I've watched. But unfortunately, Risen is telling a story that we've all heard a million times, and it doesn't really bring anything new to the table. So if you already know your Bible and you already know the story of Jesus, don't expect any new insight here. Just come 
to watch a nice little slice of throwback cinema. And eh, I think it won't be worse for the wear. So if you're interested in Risen, either due to your religious beliefs and it being Lent and you just wanting that type of material, or it's looked interesting to you in the commercials, I say go support it. See it as a matinee. It's not worth a full price ticket. And at the very least, this will make a nice little rental. But if you're not religious, obviously, I think you can just skip this one altogether. It's not going to do anything for you. It's not going to provide any other insight. Just read the Bible if you're not religious and want to know more about this story. So, that has been my review of Risen. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below, and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you going to go see Risen this weekend? And what is your favorite faith-based film of all time? Let me know either in the comment section down below or hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah! Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!